Costco is at it again, and they are going big time with gold, and it's paying off big time. We'll talk about it and so much more as we explore. Costco strikes again, making big news with the precious metals community. They are now selling 100 gram gold bars from Pam Suisse, although they don't look exactly like this. I'll talk about it and we'll get into why this is such a good deal, or at least it was, because people snatched these bars up in less than 24 hours. I'm reporting to you from Business Insider. And Dominic Reuter writes that Costco had 100 gram gold bars for $7,600 and they sold out in less than a day. Now, I went and checked and see what some of the other bullion dealers are selling uh, gold bars for of this size. 100 gram gold bars are selling for about $7,800. That's well over $200 above what you normally would pay. And even though this is not spot price that Costco is selling them for, well, if you do it right, you will get them for right around spot price. And this is the largest gold product that Costco has ever sold, 100 gram bar size, but they are of the struck variety. And it was briefly available and sold out in less than a day. Costco has been selling gold and silver at a rate of $200 million per month, per analyst estimates, and it's showing no signs of slowing down. You've heard me report exclusively on this channel about how they've been accumulating silver eagles at a dramatic rate, pretty much wiping out two months' worth of supply from the United States mints. And uh, that's one of the reasons why premiums for silver eagles have gone up for a while. And they have been selling other products as well. It's pretty in interesting to see that they've become kind of like a, a small s silver and gold dealer. Uh, now they don't have the variety and you have to buy in bulk uh, or you have to buy, you know, one gold bar or a 100 gram gold bar in this case. But you can't buy a single coin uh, in terms of silver. But it is exciting because if you take advantage of it and if you are a member of Costco anyway, well, these are pretty good deals even on the surface. Look no further than what happened just this past week. The company's largest gold product, a 100 gram 24 karat gold bar from Pam Suisse that last sold for $7,599.99, weighing as much as three and a half standard coins, which is kind of a strange description of it. It's not really what it weighs. It's, it's 3.215 ounces. The two square inch slabs cost as much as a high mileage used car. And actually, that is probably about right. Uh, you could buy, uh, an, a, you know, a, a higher mileage, older used car for about that price, for the price of one of these. Uh, this is the cast variety that you see on your screen here. And I kind of like these better. Yeah, it's more tactile. You know, you hold these in your hands and you're feeling the weight. Some of the assayed gold bars. And there's a little bit, you know, it's it doesn't quite give you the same experience, although they are nice. But you still have to be careful with buying gold bars of this size because there's much more temptation to uh, for uh, conniving folks to find a way to uh, to drill out some of the gold and put tungsten in there. Uh, and it'd be well worth it. There's plenty of space. These things are relatively thick. So make sure that whenever you buy, you're, you're purchasing from a reputable dealer. Now, is Costco a reputable dealer? Yes, they are. I I can't imagine that they would not have done the homework to make sure that they, you are getting the right uh, and a genuine product. As to where they source their products, well, we don't know for sure. It could be a variety of wholesalers, which is likely the case uh, for how they accumulate uh, their gold and silver products. It's pretty amazing. The price didn't dissuade gold buyers. That is a pretty expensive price, uh, but they snapped up the stash of 100 gram gold bars in less than a day. But it is unclear how many units were in this offering. Uh, but the product listing shows dozens of reviews from verified customers. And pretty remarkable to see uh, this occurring so quickly uh, and selling out so quickly. And someone had pointed out that Costco's 2% rewards for executive membership 
plus 2% from Costco's credit card translate to some big bucks savings on a large purchase. So the combined rewards would have come in around $300, which is makes the bar less than spot price, which is not a big, uh, not a bad windfall for converting dollars into gold, assuming prices hold. Because Costco prices its precious metal so close to the market spot price, the reward can make the deal extremely competitive. Well, more than competitive, we're talking about under spot price. So likely savvy buyers took advantage of that uh, that savings for sure. Uh, pretty remarkable. Uh, it's unlikely that Costco is making much profit at these rates from its precious metal business, uh, but that might not matter for the company right now. Between the e-commerce cheat code of routing hundreds of millions of dollars through online sales, attracting new members, incentivizing existing members to upgrade, and boosting the appeal of the credit card, there are other plenty of other benefits uh, for Costco to enjoy. Uh, they often reminded that investors uh, that were a top-line company, referring to their dedication of growing sales rather than maximizing profits, and nothing drives that idea home quite like selling through a stack of $7,600 gold bars in less than a day. So think about it. It's the convenience. You know, sometimes you go to a gas station and you buy gas at a pretty competitive price. They're not making money on the gas. It's when you go in to pay for it, that is assuming you don't use your credit card, um, and you actually go in the store, which happens much less likely these days, but I digress, and you go into the store and then you buy yourself a pack of gum or a candy bar or a drink, there's where they make their money. So in a sense, it's kind of hard to say how they make their money now if you're not doing that. And I think that's kind of the idea that Costco has here. So they're offering this to be competitive. And they're, they themselves are buying in bulk. And they may be able to time the markets and hedge themselves in this area. But uh, one thing that I've been doing on this channel is giving you the latest news with regards to Costco and precious metals. I was one of the first channels to report on Costco selling gold and silver. Um, but long before that, in fact, back in 2017, uh, Walmart has been selling gold and silver. We know Amazon does as well, but you got to be very, very careful because anybody can sell anything on Amazon, it seems like, these days. But as far as the big, big uh, retail outlets, well, there you've got it, Walmart. In fact, some really good deals can be had over at Walmart.com, who mainly deal with bullion exchanges and Atmex and several other companies. It's pretty remarkable and pretty amazing to see that the world of precious metals is expanding out. Costco was just the latest to offer it, and it has become literal headline news to find out that, hey, you can buy gold at Costco. Who would have thunk it? And here we are. It brings gold into the limelight and it helps Costco. Now, that didn't happen back in 2017. Of course, a channel like mine makes news, uh, makes it news, uh, but, you know, I don't, don't have very much of a reach than that the major media do. It's just, it's something, but there it is. And so that's the latest news now that we have here for what Costco is doing. Now the question is, is what will they carry next in the world of precious metals? Uh, something like this, making Business Insider news and, and others, well, uh, it just goes to show you. Some others have reported even physically going down to their local Costco and finding indeed silver and gold, the 10 ounce silver bar. Uh, that Royal Canadian Mint and others that are for sale there. Some people can literally walk into the store and buy one. Of course, as you know, there is return policies for most stuff with these retail outlets, but that ain't happening for gold and silver. But once the transaction is complete, there is no returns, no deposit, no return. But, uh, you know, uh, who would want to trade these back in for cash? I wouldn't. I, mean, I bought these gold bars. Well, I'm hanging on to them, that's for sure. You buy and hold. And so it's exciting to see. I mean, I can't imagine walking into a Costco and seeing a one ounce gold bar, much less a hundred gram gold bar. I've never seen it at the Costco that's in my area. And uh, so I'd be very curious to see if, if you, the viewer, has ever seen silver or gold physically in the store um, when, when you've shopped in Costco. Would love to know. And again, the savings comes from uh, the, the benefits that you get 
from a, uh, from from the higher premium membership and using their card. And a lot of people take advantage of that to be able to get the savings and be able to get gold for under spot price. Pretty amazing. So there you have it. Uh, you know, uh, this is something I like to do on this channel is to showcase some uh, some precious metals and other things. And as well as talk about the latest news and analysis in the world of gold and silver. If you find value in the content I provide here, I hope you would consider subscribing to the channel and pressing that little like button right down here. If you find value in the content I provide here, it's an amazing thing to be a part of this community and to be able to give you news like this and to hear your thoughts. That's why I always enjoy when folks leave comments, no matter what they are. Um, you know, I, I appreciate the insight. I've always learned so much from what you have to say with regards to precious metals. So let me know what your thoughts are. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to each and every one of you for taking the time to watch and to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.